Hey, what's up, YouTube? I uh, decided to do a couple of uh, troubleshooting videos tonight because I had a dialogue uh, video thing set up already, so I figured I would share a little couple of bits of knowledge. Um, this one is concerning the new version of Sonar 2016. Uh, my version is producer version, which is uh, pretty good, but I had a lot of trouble installing it. And after very little on the tech support side, I actually called tech support and they, I just got an answering machine that said, well, we're not taking any more calls and it hung up on me. So uh, after searching the forums and trying a few different software solutions, I decided to try to update my windows in general. And it turns out that it, in, to put it simply, it was just having windows seven 64 bit service pack one set up to the date by which I mean run the Windows update then power down your computer then power up your computer and run the installer uh, not the, the, the update the Windows update again and again and again until the point when you run the Windows update and it says that you are completely 100% up to date. Now that sounds like a simple thing. You might be like, oh, I just got even talking about this. But uh, my Windows update, first of all, it ran once and it seemed like oh, it would be up to date and it was not. Then uh, after a few more tries, uh, the Windows update actually got stuck and there's actually a fix for this. If you, uh, you could Google up Windows, 7 64 bit windows update bug and it will come up with a, uh, a special program for those of us that have this bug for whatever reason and uh you know if you have the bug what will happen is windows will just say it's updating but you could leave it on overnight and it's not doing a damn thing so uh that would be the thing to do is to just make sure you are one hundred thousand percent up to date before installing the version of sonar that you are going to install. Actually, uh, that is one bit of one last tip I would say is that uh, the best way to install this, and I think when you're setting up your studio and it needs to work all the time, is to run it on a freshly formatted hard disk drive, Windows 100% up to date, your drivers, everything up to date, then install your uh, your all your you know your DAW software, Sonar or Cubase or whatever you're uh, setting up, and then your plugins. And I would also just as a if you're not doing this all the time, uh, try your best to install your plugins to the default directory because I've also had several problems with this uh, not wanting to work because the DLLs were not in the default path. So just watch out for that too. And I uh, hope this helps some people because I would have killed for this uh, video to be online when I was having trouble. So hopefully this helps someone. Uh, drop a comment if it helps you. Thanks for checking it out.